here right here is the I was pregnant video, right? So as we know, this is from December. I can't zoom in. I don't know how to damn zoom in this computer right here. December 15th, 2019, right? Okay, so there's your date. December 19th, I was pregnant. This is all about, we talk about the last few weeks and they're talking about Karen having a chemical pregnancy or miscarriage, whatever the hell you want to call it. This is from the video called One of Our Secrets That We've Been Keeping. All right, April 28th, 2020, right? April 28th, 2020. So the point here is, is that back in December when they did this, Karen also was going through uh, kidney stone problems. And yes, she had her uh, operations and her surgeries or whatever, which obviously she had from all the, uh, let's see, uh, KK and baby J emergency. Let's go with that. I rushed her to the emergency room Why I'm still in the hospital. Uh, I need surgery on Christmas, finally leaving the hospital, and then like, I know there's eight, I believe. They only pop up on certain tags though, so, or keywords, so I can't really get that. But anyways, so, obviously she had kidney stones. Now, just because she had these at, let's just say, let's just go with this one. I think this one was the first one. So it's December 22nd. So obviously it's, what is that? That's uh, a, a, almost a week past that I was pregnant video, right? So just because she had surgery here does not mean that that's when she had her kidney stones exactly. She, the kidney stones have to build up over time and it was affecting her probably through November through mid-December and then she had to finally get the surgery. Well, so my point is, is that that miscarriage or a chemical pregnancy that she had that uh, was a, a false positive due to kidney stones because you can get false positive within kidney stones and the doctors always tell you this by the way the doctors will always tell you this and if you want further proof that karen oh you can't say karen didn't know about it well actually let's see so let's go back to one of our secrets that we've been keeping and here we go All right, so there it is. There it is from Karen Swan's own mouth, April 28th, one of our secrets that we've been keeping, literally proof that Karen knows about kidney stones. And you can say, well, she just found out about that. No, she didn't. She already knew. Doctors will tell you because they need to know that you're pregnant. They will give you blood work. They need to know if you're pregnant or not to enable to do the surgeries. And like I said, kidney stones take time to build. So she obviously got a false positive from kidney stones, right Karen? Now, if you need further proof, because this, this is the whole point of the video is to give you guys concrete proof, and this is the proof I gave that same person I was talking to, and they accepted it, but then they like freaked out on me. I mean, go look at my Instagram stories. You'll see what the hell I'm talking about. But anyways, if you want further proof, we go to her Instagram, uh, her Instagram TV or whatever the hell you want to call it. And this is literally like a Q&A or whatever. And she literally says this. I feel like after Sutton, like, we thought we were done having kids. And then we had that, uh, we had a scare. And that's why I was like, So wait a second. What was that, Karen? We were done having kids. And then we had that, uh, we had a scare. And that's why. Okay, so they had a scare. She's talking about, she thought they were done with Sutton, right? Their last baby their last baby literally tell says right here she says they had that scare referring to what happened in december because that's the only thing that makes sense right karen the only thing that makes sense so now it's a miscarriage but she has yet to actually come out and say the words guys this was not a miscarriage or a chemical pregnancy this was literally a false positive. You can say a you can say a scare. Like I'm okay with a scare. The problem is, guys, look at this. It's still up as I was pregnant. I was pregnant. Fully monetized, making money off of a false tragedy. And then I got I got one more thing here to prove that Karen the the, the scare. Because you can say, oh well, the scare is a, a miscarriage or the scare is a chemical pregnancy. No, it's not. A chemical pregnancy is a chemical pregnancy. A miscarriage is a miscarriage. These are what they are. They're not a scare. That's what they are. But here's Karen 
literally denouncing the December chemical pregnancy miscarriage, whatever the hell you want to call it. Live pregnancy test, not what we wanted, May 25th, 2020. So remember around this time, this was where she had that newer, that, that one miscarriage, not the six weeker she just had apparently, but the one prior to. And here she literally says she only has three miscarriages, only three. The one before Jackson, the one before Landon, and the one right now and not the one in December. So this was your fourth pregnancy? Uh, well, I've had miscarriages before, so I've had, this is probably the third miscarriage now. Probably. Yes. Yes. So point being, Karen kind of here denounces it. She actually hasn't said the words, guys, it wasn't a miscarriage. It wasn't a chemical pregnancy. It's still up as such making money off of in which I had a little conversation with somebody and go, well, no one's going to go back to that video. So who really cares? The thing is, is that this is her new journey about having miscarriages and infertility. So any videos prior are going to get more traffic. So newcomers or whoever else will see the video and think it's an actual miscarriage, but it's not. And she still has it up fully monetized again. Remember it's up fully monetized as a, as a miscarriage or as a chemical pregnancy. I was pregnant, it's just right there. It's right there. She used this reason as to why she was like hormonal or uh, uh, being a bitch to qual. Right here, KK and Baby J, all their videos. Right, let's just, let's just go here. Let's just go all their videos. Uh, no. So anyways, look at this. Look at these views. So 98K, and I'm not here to view shame. My point here is that they get their higher view viewed videos off of these pregnancy ones because the whole gimmick of the KK and Baby J channel originally was Karen getting pregnant. That's what all the fans and community was waiting for. Karen to get pregnant, Karen to get pregnant, Karen to get pregnant, right? Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. But they clickbaited it so much and eventually what they ended up doing was uh, uh, clickbaiting it in uh, during the social distancing and telling everybody, oh, stay safe and stay home, uh, be safe around the, 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 the pandemic, the virus. But then they have people come over and travel a couple hours away to clickbait a pregnancy that wasn't there. They literally had their friends come over, do a live pregnancy test, but they clickbaited it as such. They clickbaited it and said it was Karen's pregnancy, but it really wasn't. And they changed the title. They had to disable the like to dislike count bar or whatever the hell you want to call it because there was so much negative stuff. They don't want to be seen negative. That's why they hate me. That's why the that's why all the fans hate me too because they because I, I point all this stuff out. And I'm not trying to burst any bubbles. I just don't like that they're doing this stuff. But like I said, if you look at the videos, their video, their views, again, I'm not trying to the, to, the view shame here, but their views suck in comparison to the views about pregnancy like this is 273 about pregnancy then this one is literally under uh, like a, a hundred over a hundred thousand less they just they can't seem to find see look update on trying to conceive 282k but the next one is so much smaller that's my point is that they upload all these other ones and you know they do decent i'm not saying that a hundred thousand 150 thousand isn't good that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is they clickbait because they care about the numbers because they want more money they tell you that they don't care about the money why you're telling me you don't care about money you're not I mean, i'm not saying to go do out and do anything to go get money but what i'm saying is is that they clickbait for money if they didn't care about money if they didn't care about the numbers views subs nothing why would they clickbait anything? And that's the thing is, is that they found a new way to clickbait with these pregnancies. They still continued on. I mean, Karen uploaded three of these updates or whatever in one week. Anyways, that's all I really have to say here. This is all I really got. You know, again, they had the video up still as a, a miscarriage. Uh, then Karen says uh, kidney stones affect pregnancies, gives you false positives. Then you have Karen literally saying that uh, the December miscarriage, whatever hell you want to call it, was a scare and not a miscarriage. Then you have her here literally denouncing it as, well, passively denouncing it as uh, nothing because she only claims that she's had probably three. So she definitely only had the three and those are even questionable as well. I'm not getting into that. This has already gone way long enough, but that is what I have to say.